Dear students, in this class we are going to learn clearly what about electric shock. It is an electric current chapter, 10th class physics for state board and central board. CBSE and state board 10th class physics, electric shock simply important topic. What about electric shock? You know human body is also good conductor of electricity. So when we touch a live wire, electric current flows into our body which can gives a shock. But with what amount of current electric shock uh, will be felt in the human body for a person? How can we explain? When, when 0 0.0024 amperes of current flows into human body then the functioning of functioning of internal organs gets disturbed and uh, guests disturbed this causes electric shock so when at least 0 0.024 amperes of current flows into human body the functioning of internal organs gets disturbed. This causes electric shock. With uh, amount of current flows into our body is uh, less than 0 0.0024. Less than 0 0.0024 ampere means it doesn't uh, disturb the functioning of internal organs. So when this much of current or more than this much of current goes into our body, Functioning of internal organs gets disturbed and we can feel pain and we can get uh, we can get other effects which causes electric shock. So we want to write one more point for electric shock question. Electric shock is electric shock is the combined effect of combined effect of Potential difference, electric current and resistance, that is electric resistance of the human body. This mood is the same electric shock. So, what is electric shock means? These two points are enough. So generally, human body kunich, human body yoke resistance kunich manam matlaarte. So you know, human body is a good conductor of electricity. So human body is also a conductor of electricity. Human body has a resistance. Human body also has a resistance. Resistance of human body varies uh, from 100 ohms to 5 lakhs ohms. 100 ohms nunchi 5 lakhs ohms were counted. When our skin is salty and wet so then resistance in the human body is low when our skin is dry so then resistance in the human body is high so you know resistance alters the flow of amount of current that is why 
when we have a low resistance easily current passes when we have high resistance so current flow can be prevented so this is a general topic to understand what about so what about resistance of the human body then what is electric shock means this is this is enough so electric shock when 0.0024 amperes of current flows into human body the functioning of internal organs get it's disturbed which causes electric shock so that's all this is